TTP in partnership with Lagos State Government and the Nigerian Port Authority is promoting the development of truck transit park projects. The aim is to provide short-term resting place for truck drivers on long-distance travel and to reduce loss of life and cargo caused by accidents arising from fatigue. So what we have today is a call-up system that is called ATO. It started as an idea in 2013. My co-founder and I were on a road trip within the country and in the course of the trip we were held up for hours by truck traffic and she thought that it would make sense to have a gated community of trucks just as we have a gated community or estate for humans. So this idea was then expanded as a traffic management solution to manage first of all truck traffic around the country starting out with Lagos but also applicable to other categories of road users. In the Echo Zone, the Maritime Echo Zone, we have about 7,500 trucks coming in and out of our papa every day. And if you break down these trucks into their various demographies, you'll find out that the NPA has about 50% of the traffic coming in and out of our papa. So it only made sense for us to start tackling the problem by solving the NPA problem. With the help of the a app, they connect all parks electronically with trucks booking packs before coming to the Apapa port. This platform is being used to schedule truck movements between parks, ports and terminals. While the Lagos State Government enforces a no park booking, no truck movement policy in Lagos. On the day we launched, we, have about, um, we had about 3,000 trucks registered on our platform. One year later, it's about um, 80,000, in fact 85,000 as of last month. Um, we currently have about 10,000 registered users. We have about um, 85 registered parks and facilities that are on the network from which and to which trucks move uh, on their way to control locations like ports and terminals and warehouses. And we've also been able to reduce the time it takes for trucks to move uh, from any part of Lagos into the port and into Apapa, their destinations in Apapa, from two weeks to about 90 hours and we've also reduced the uh, cost of moving cargo within the country by about 65% within this 12-month 12, 12 period. Um, within the past one year, we've done about 600,000 bookings of trucks that are going into Apapa and the port in particular. The changes have come and they are now used to the new way things are being done. No more three-hour traffic in um, the Apapa corridor, no more staying in queues, no more planning ahead for days before coming to the port complex as a resident or running other businesses in this area. Residents, road users and stakeholders within the Apapa ecosystem all agree that the Etocolox system has achieved what seemed to be unattainable a couple of years ago. The most important thing about a place is movement you should be able to go out and come in. A situation whereby you can't even go out. It is an emergency, sorry. But uh, it has been consistent. Now, coming to a papa, you know you are going to get home. You're not going to get stuck in traffic. Even if, you, if there are trucks on the bridge, certainly there's a lane left for other road users to use. So it's commendable so far. And we pray that it continues. I don't feel like for you. This time we, this time we will be like this, we enjoy it. So we sell it, we will enjoy it. I think the e-color system has come to stay. And we encourage the e-color system to be the order of the day in port operations in Nigeria, especially in Apapa. The e call up system at the end will improve basically the logistics of every participant of business in Apapa. Irrespective if it's our business, uh, loading fuel to, to trucks to deliver to our customers or if it's dry goods, if it's containers. So it's in benefit to everybody. Now at the end of the day, what you want to do as, a, as an organization is get trucks in and out quickly. Yeah? So, because that's the most efficient way to run your business. So when we were looking at the height of the, uh, the problem, we were only able to get in up to uh, maybe 10 or 20 trucks in, uh, in a day. Uh, because most of the time trucks are just sitting outside unable to, to come into the terminal. Uh, now uh, we're able to get in uh, up to 200 to 300 trucks uh, per day. 
So it's a dramatic increase from what it was before. Since the introduction of uh, ATO, uh, we have been able to discharge our vessel, you know, quicker. We have a better turnaround time, you know, for the vessels in the port. And uh, that's good for, for, for our own revenue as well. The truck call-off system is just the beginning of good things to come with the ETO app as a flagship project. This project will be expanded across Nigeria with positive impact felt across the globe.